Most people just don't realize how huge the Democratic Republic of the Congo really is. And the reason often comes down to the map we grew up looking at. The map most schools use is called the Mercator Projection. It's a way of taking the round Earth and flattening it into a rectangle. But it's also kind of like stretching pizza dough. Something has to give, right? The Mercator map stretches land near the poles, making them look far bigger than they actually are. At the same time, countries near the equator, like the Congo, end up squashed and appear much smaller. On a classroom map, Greenland might look about the same size as Africa, when in reality Africa is about 14 times larger, and Congo is as big as Western Europe. Congo is big enough to fit Spain, France, Germany, and several other countries inside it. But on the Mercator map, it looks like just another medium-sized country sitting in the middle of Africa. The reason the Mercator projection was created in the first place wasn't to show true sizes, but to help sailors navigate. It keeps angles accurate for plotting courses across the oceans, which is useful if you're steering a ship, but not so useful if you want a realistic idea of how big countries are compared to each other. 